Let's check out an update on the case. Five alleged Chicago street gang members now facing federal charges in connection with the shooting death of a local rapper downtown. The charges announced today by the U.S. attorney who says social media played a role in this case. Our Patrick Elwood live at the Dirksen Federal Building now with the latest. Pat? And to all you young uh, people, PSA, PSA, social media is playing a role in all your cases if you have any. Um, it seems as if you can't help yourself. Uh, you get online and you, you say everything that the police and the feds need to know and they don't have to leave the office anymore. They just uh, look on their phones and their lappy tops and they do their work that way. Ben, and right you are, a brazen act of violence that took place on an August day in the Gulf Coast against a Chicago rapper. And then it was promoted and bragged about on social media. And the feds say it was because of that, that helped them make this case. It was back in August of 2020 that Carlton Weekly, who went by the rapper name FBG Duck, was gunned down in the city's Gold Coast while shopping. A joint task force of law enforcement working together on this one. And today, CPD... Super working together on this one. I bet you are. Lord, I'm going to say this. Let me let me let this play. David Brown says this is part of a bigger strategy to thwart gang violence and maximize prison time for those who will be found guilty. We are going after gangs in this city. This includes gang investigations, narcotics investigations, and gun investigations. We are working together to hold gang members accountable for violence. Today, five question, um, Chief. Will you be going into the hood, into the ghettos of the urban cities, or is this case just this enormous because it messed with that good old neighborhood it was in? That's all I, I, I want to know, because I really don't think that this case is getting the light that it's receiving simply because it happened to FBG uh, Duck. Thank you, Jesus, that it is getting delight and maybe that's going to push um you guys further and go into the urban neighborhoods and have this much force and this much um enthusiasm in helping bring other people to justice um for other murders five members of a faction of the gangster disciples have been indicted for his murder this was one of those cases we were able to bring federal resources to bear to work with the Chicago Police Department to ultimately help us make the case. In announcing the indictments, U.S. Attorney John Lausch says this is a federal case because it falls under federal racketeering organized crime statutes. Charged are 30-year-old Charles Liggins, 28-year-old Kenneth Roberson, 22-year-old Christopher Thomas, 22-year-old... You see people, real names... And then you see their names on the street. Lil Tuki, Lil JJ, Lil Stick 'em Up, Lil Bang Bang Kill 'em. You mean to tell me Lil Bang Bang Kill 'em name is Charles Liggins and to Carlos Offord and Marcus? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Carlos Offord and 22 year old Marcus Smart. That's why they be changing their name. That ain't the hard at all. That ain't hard. media to brag about their crimes as a way to intimidate rivals and promote their standing within the gang which operates in the 63rd and King Drive area. But U.S. Attorney Laos says by using social media, in a way, they set their own trap. Ain't no in a way. By using social media, you're slow. There are now five people in custody who weren't in custody before. Five people who were alleged to have committed a murder. Do you see how he mean this shit? They gonna make an example. You not gonna come down here in our good old white folk neighborhood. I'm just gonna say it. Causing this motherfucking ruckus. You niggers. This is basically what. Better keep that shit in y'all part of the motherfucking neighborhood. In your neck of the woods. Don't you come over on Rodeo Drive with this fucking tree. Or else. That's basically what he was saying, allegedly. Hot daylight in the middle of the afternoon in the city of Chicago, okay? And now 
it's known to them and it's known to anybody else who might be committing similar acts of brazen violence, right? And who may brag about it or not brag about it, that their day has come. So four Parrot. of the five suspects were arrested today. That's what this is about. The fifth was already in jail on an unrelated charge. They will be assigned a judge here at the federal Dirksen building in the coming weeks. Reporting from the South Loop, Patrick Elwood, WGN News.